Yay, it's Tuesday night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, hey, welcome to the P word, where the P stands for ambiguity. Um, I'm Jim, that's Paul. And Who? I'm you. Uh, you, goddammit. What are we listening to? What is that? It's uh, bad la- Badlands. Ah, Badlands. Yeah. Cool. Another copyright infringement fun. Yeah, it's fine. As long as we don't uh, go to Syria, Iraq, or Iran, we're okay. See, we're still not there. Oh, well. I'm okay. Oh, excuse me. I can see me. Nobody wants to see me. I don't want to see me. Eh, fuck those people. Is that better? Let's see. I'm waiting for myself to get back. Yeah, I don't even know where you are now. This is I'm invisible. I know. This is like such a process. Let's see. Yep. Hey, you hit yep. your mark. Look, we're all digitized. Somehow. Yay. Nice to do it. Okay. So I'm just going to jump in and let's just deal with the elephant in the room. What elephant? That fucking fireworks crap. Oh, who cares? I just, the Jesus Christ. Sorry. Whatever. It's Could like be the end all be all with my wife. I, I'm just amazed that, you know, we, you know, town we live in, King of Prussia, all that nonsense. We just got the, uh, on Facebook, the uh, the cops came out and they said that, you know, basically even anything except a sparkler, I think, and even if it's a loud sparkler, they're illegal in this township. But amazingly, guys are firing off mortars like the size of World War I mortars all over our friggin' neighborhood a couple of weeks ago. Which I wouldn't mind if they weren't raining down on Don't our touch it. Yeah. What's going on? We got a little echo. That's you playing that in the background. Oh, it's there. There we go. Jesus. It's Christ. Maybe we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a shock. And with that. Yeah. Thank you and good evening. Yes. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> so we got a couple of extra little funny things tonight. Uh. I did want to start out with something I thought we should just throw a question. Touch it. Mostly for the Facebook people. You may Touch have to it. type this from time to time. Not doing that. Okay. Um, I was just going to put a question out there because this is bugging me earlier. I heard new kids. The kids today don't type anything. They do with their thumbs. Nope. Really? They dictate. They suck. Mm-hmm. But they blame it. You know what? I, I mean, fuck the script. You know what pisses me off? You know what gets my crank? God damn it. Why do I funny. sound so nasally? I don't know. You don't sound so nasally. I'm not nasally. Are you in the microphone? I am in the microphone. What's not, going on, not Dan? I'm microphone's ass, but I'm in the microphone. <laughs> what I think is funny, um, and I see this on uh, everything is social media because, you know, it's a nightmare. But And I see people, like, referring to our generation Aww. as fucking boomers, and I'm going to murder somebody. We're not that. boomers. No, we're not boomers. We're the one before that. We're the one after that. We're the one that got... Well, uh, yeah, you know what I meant. And well, they don't. God Almighty, they'll think we're like Let's see if this works. in the fucking you know first World War veterans. Oh, now I'm oh. starting to hear some shit. Now we're nice and deep. No. But what I'm upset about? No, I mean it's like it's funny because um, I keep seeing things. They keep talking about the boomers, and then they talk about the millennials, and then they talk about the Gen whatever the fuck the next group of Gen Y, Z, X, and B. The fuck ever they are, I don't really care. Um, wow. Listen to all that echo. That sounds like I'm in a concert hall. You're in a bathroom. It's, like the, it's the P word live at Carnegie Hall. Maybe we like are. Um, <clears throat> no, I think it's funny. They skip over Gen X and just lump us in with the boomers because anybody over than a fucking worthless, and yeah, you are worthless millennials, uh, millennials. And uh, I just think it's funny that like they fucking forget us. Let's come together. They, we were We were called X because we were... Fucked by the boomers because they don't they won't die. And well, no, we, we so listen. We're not going to do as well. Growing up in Philly, yeah, in the eighties, what music was popular? It was pop music, you know, Madonna and all that, and metal, yeah. you know, pop metal or whatever. That's you when call that's it. when rock became about eighty different subgenres. And in Philadelphia, we didn't have one modern rock station of that genre, not one. What MMR you, would play some of it, and occasionally you would get a metal. Uh, radio show on the weekends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't hear contemporary metal unless you heard it in the top 40 on WCAU. Yep. You right. heard classic, quote-unquote, rock 
on the two big rock stations. Oddly, top 40 classic rock. And that was it. Which was weird. Which was great for me. I mean, I love Led Zeppelin and all those bands. and But I didn't hear Great White on the radio. No, I didn't, I didn't hear any all. of those bands until I went to like other cities. I would go down to like Baltimore. I'd go on vacation or go down yeah, to Baltimore, yeah. go down to Georgia, wherever I was at at Georgia. the time. Well, I did business down there. Georgia had metal bands during metal They had time? stations that played contemporary music. Fucking Hades? It's crazy. Jesus I mean, there was stuff going on. And even in New York, they, K-Rock played some stuff, but yeah. then they went they went classic rock, too. Well, it, always, it always confounded me. They were, they were top 40 stations, but they're playing The Who, and The Who hasn't had a new album out in 100 years. So. Athena. That was 1981. Yeah, but it, they didn't play that. You know, it was Bob O'Reilly and, you know, stuff like that. And it's like... It, it went backward, man. I got to the point where I hated The Who. I hated hearing them. I got tired of it. I never got tired of The Who, but I got tired of listening to other people's music. Yeah. We were the forgotten generation. Yeah. Well, yeah, metalheads are the worst part of that. Gen X, we're like forgotten by everybody. But, uh, yeah, I just I just think it's funny. There's, there's the... Uh, Pardon me? In the 90s, the kids stole the Gen X moniker because they thought it was cool to be a slacker, which we hated being called. Oh, that's for sure. And because it wasn't true, it just there was an article in what Newsweek or Time about that, and then, uh, and then the '90s kids embraced it, and we got busted. You know, we got screwed over with it. Hey, Doc. What's up, Doc? Uh, yes, Doc, you can come in. I, I wonder if people are going to call in. Hey, I don't know. Hey, hey. Nice. We got we do have some stuff, some new stuff tonight. We do have some letters from the readers or listeners or where the fuck these people are. Hey, Doc. Yo. How's it going? What's going on, man? I don't know. We're just going through. We're just bitching about Gen X and stuff and how we got fucked. But I don't want to do that because then all the kids will call us boomers. They're off the hunt. But they're not down. listening anyway, Jim. It doesn't matter. They might. No. That guy Kenny last week, was a, he was definitely like a millennial. And himself. the best part is that, unfortunately, because of the way I had the, uh, the system hooked up, nobody heard a thing he said on Facebook. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. It probably is. That's, that's fine. You don't, want to, you, don't want to, you don't want to hear my angry rants at the beginning of the show. So we got a reader mail for later. Um, I'm going to do – I want to ask the question of the night. And this came up in my head the other morning while I was drinking coffee and mostly still asleep. Just coffee? It's, you know, it's neither, it's nothing. That's why they show it to me. Why there's spikes. I just like put on paper just so I can sound like an actual good show. Um, <clears throat> it's a stupid question. It makes no sense. And only Gen Xers will get it. Anyway, and it's like I said, stupid, just for people to chew well, on. No shit. Yep. yep. Who do you prefer? And I guess this is the guy. Top or bottom? Oh, sorry. sorry. No, no, no. Which do you prefer, Harold Brady or Shirley Parker? That was that was a Partridge Family bus driving away. That's okay. That's all good. Um, but that's the stupid question of the night. Yeah, but they're not gonna. They won't. But I'm just. Doing it. But they're not listening. I admire your honesty. Doc, I'm telling you, you got to buy some like. It sounds like a Honda Civic with a. I, I ain't this dollars. great. Just string it across the street. Nobody will know. I should come up with my own podcast live in the city. Just pretend, in the city. pretend you're down at the Atco Raceway and just like do a play-by-play. Yeah. It's, it's funny because, um, you know, <laughs> we sit around outside at night and you hear the bikes cruising around here. And th- you know what? It was this morning. That's what was keeping me awake. The asshole riding his little crotch rocket. Don't get me wrong. That's what I rode for since I was a teen. And I wanted to just flag him down, strangle him while screaming, shifted out of second gear. The dude was driving around for about an hour this morning in second gear, all over the place. Yes. And, uh, oh, my God, I, I love it. I love hearing these guys jet around. I, I, I just want to see them fall. I did get to see some kid pop a wheelie on a mini bike, being an asshole out front, and he fell on his ass. It happens. I was, I, I, I was, he wasn't really badly hurt, so it wasn't that funny. But he was fun. I love this song. You know what I remember? Boy, nothing. Yes. That's what I remember. You seen this movie? Yes. It's a great movie. It was okay. It was for its time. It was oh, interesting. This is off the soundtrack to the movie The Warriors. Yeah. But I, uh I like yeah. it. Copyright infringement. 
ah, more than welcome. 30 seconds. My favorite part was the uh, <laughs> the guys dressed like uh, what were they? baseball players and roller skaters. Baseball skaters. furies. Damn, yeah, my, you got to love the 70s and how they thought the future was going to play out. There used to be a theater here in Norristown called the Norris Theater. Oh, yeah. They showed the Warriors one night. And the neighborhood kids came all dressed as the gang members. <laughs> it was cool as hell. Well, the the cast just got together recently. Um, they got together recently for some kind of get together somewhere. It was weird. They all had their jackets and everything from the movie. It was really bizarre. The one guy in the movie, I don't know if you know this stupid trivia that only Jim knows. They're very old now. Um, there's one guy in the movie. Uh, he's also in um, the thing. He was Windows in the thing. I forget who the hell he was in this. He's the guy in the Warriors gets thrown in front of the train. He was actually supposed to be a bigger character than he was, but they saw that that uh, that the lead character from the movie now and the, the girl in it had better chemistry, so they downplayed his role and he freaked out and demanded to be removed from the credits. And he was, and his character was thrown in front of a train. And, that he, was, and he was fired, and he regretted it ever since. So that's kind of cool. So if you're ever in a movie, keep your mouth shut. Shut your pie hole, eh? Shut your Listen, fucking pie hole. I'm not fucking around here. Oh, I had a typo in my comments. Well, it's okay. Like fine, P H I N E. So, um, the day after our last show, uh, Jeff Labar. Yeah, man. And then what was it? Same Gary. day, Gary Corbett. Yep, keyboard the player for them, the Ghost the Key and Kiss. Did they play like Area Fifty One or something? What happened? I don't no. know, but I, I found out yesterday, and, and I kind of knew after yeah. the end of the day. Really didn't know him. I knew him like, hey, Jeff. And he was like, who's that? Um, that fucking guy again. But uh, probably be on a podcast. He was half Japanese. Not a lot of people are. I didn't know that, though. Well, why would you? I don't know. It was just I just never realized. I just I never made that association when I when I looked at him. Um, but, uh, I knew him from when I was in the band Instinct. We used to play at this place called the, the Red Garter. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And he was there a lot when we played it. Then we hired, later on, we hired his best friend to be our drummer. So then Jeff came out even more. And occasionally, you know, the members of Cinderella came out. I mean, there was a night we played that I can remember distinctly. There, there might have been more than one, but specifically to the left of me off stage was Tom Kiefer. His wife Emily at that time, and the bass player um, Eric Brittingham, all sitting at the table. I don't know if Fred Corey was with them, hmm. but they were all there, and they they weren't there to see us. They were there to see Gypsy Rose, the band we were playing with. Them. Um, but hell, man! I mean, they were a big national touring act at that time, and uh, I was a mess knowing they were in the audience. <laughs> when and I literally watched them walk in to sit down, I went shit. Um, did they did they say anything to you after you played? Hell no. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I. Hi, I, Nana. Think, uh, I think, I think, um, Tom may have said good good set, man. Well, that's nice. Of him. Yeah, could have just walked out and again went. I mean, Jeff the bar guy? never. He wasn't with them that night, but he was always. There was a, another. There were two bars. One on the right. Or, it was a one long bar in the back of the place. Mm-hmm. Jeff was always at the back of the bar on the far right of the stage from, you know, when you're standing on the stage, left and right of the stage. And uh, he was always there. He would pull up. He had a, a Porsche. He would pull up onto the sidewalk, a red Porsche. <laughs> I think it was red. I don't know. It was 944? 1990-ish. I think it was a 944. What, the red? They're always a 944? And I don't uh, think they came in any other color. I mean, he was he was a fixture at, at the Red Garden in Del- Delaware County. Yeah, it's nice. It's a shame. Clifton Heights. <laughs> Clifton Heights was the name of the town. Um, and a lot of really great bands played in that bar. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a cool place. I enjoyed that place a lot. It was the cleanest rock bar I ever attended or played in. And by that, I mean, you could walk in the bathroom. Lick the floor. You could walk in with your nice white socks and change your clothes, and you didn't get dirty. There, yeah. Everything was clean. The bathroom was as clean as your, your mom's bathroom. Like, they... they yeah. They cleaned that place. It was it was immaculate, which was unheard of. Oh unheard yeah, I've been of. I've been in the uh, was it the uh, the changing rooms even at the uh, what was it at the time the uh, FU Center, which is now the Wachovia Center. 
I was in the uh, the enter- you know the entertainers dressing room. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're awful. <laughs> I was backstage at the Spectrum. It was okay. It wasn't too bad there. I was back there uh, at least three times, and I was backstage with Cinderella there. Cinderella White Snake. I was backstage. I was oh. backstage uh, for Aerosmith and Helix. Oh, nice. And Helix, eh? Backstage for something else, too. I don't know who it was. Backstage in those places is kind of... You were in a locker room. We were yeah, in a locker it's kind of gross. You were in a locker room, and but it was it was, it was was cool, man. It was, it was like, you know... It wasn't like what you hear about, like with Def Leppard, like where they were calling yeah. the girls back, and they had there was none of that. They always, well, had, there they was always a, had the stage risers so that they could go underneath their heard, solos. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I will say that when Good I was planning. backstage at the Helix party, there was something going on with the lead singer. He was in a in a stall in the where the bathrooms were inside the locker room, and there was some stuff going on in there. But taking a shit. No. Oh. See, I know a guy who's taking a shit. But uh, when I was backstage with Aerosmith, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, Brittany Fox, that we were like in a, a like a lounge. There were like sofas and all this stuff, and I was bugging Tom Kiefer, and he got pissed off and told me to leave him alone. <laughs> Literally happened. And then two years later, I played a gig with him at a place called the Galaxy in New Jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got asked to, to play a, a bill with them. Luckily, he didn't remember my puffy hair and who I was, you know, and <laughs> me and him just sat, back, asshole and just sat back at backstage and just hung out and laughed and smoked a joint and right. had a good time. Nice. I didn't smoke a joint. No? I didn't inhale. Oh, right. You just didn't. What? I mean, it's funny. We were watching a documentary about the monkeys. Not a documentary. Some kind of docu-movie thing from, I don't know, when, last night. And I was laughing. I said, the, the most wasted I've ever been at a concert was a monkey's concert. Weirdly enough. Mm. And that's only because we were at the vet and we were in 700 level and what everything just that? came up. Was that 80s? 80s? Reunion show. Something. I can tell you the first majorly effed up I was at a show was Iron Maiden Peace of Mind. Mm. Tour. We we made a joint as a joke the size of a cigar. <laughs> oh, that's a and we went, we went with about, I don't know, there were like 11 or 12 of us, you know, from high school. And oh, yeah. Whatever. I remember. So we were all we we're all hanging out, and uh, we were passing the joint back and forth. And my friend Ken passed it on to the people that were next to us, and that was the end of it. I was it. gonna say it'll it never went, come it back. It never yeah. came back. It oh. just kept going down the row, and we smoked a good bit of it. I mean, it was it was more than halfway done. Oh yeah, That's, you probably would have maybe died. <laughs> he, he, he always did stuff like that. It, like it always it always happened with him. Like there were these things that would happen with him. Anyway, he, he fell asleep later. Well, that, yeah, we had a. I was, uh, my friends were to see Triumph back in the 80s. I forget, like 80. Jesus. 80, I don't even remember when it was when they were here. And um, I couldn't go. I didn't have the money. I couldn't go. So I love I love that band. So they went, and, all, and I heard the story of what happened. Uh, my one friend, he took this girl who he liked, and. Uh, did they pass her down the road and she disappeared? No, no. He <laughs> uh, he had a bottle of Jack Daniels. Didn't pass it at all. He just kept drinking out of it. And I don't think this guy ever really drank, weirdly enough. So it was kind of odd that he was doing that. And um, Oh, I got to my, no, my rides here. That's good. My Uber. But uh, he wound up like getting violently sick all over the chick. No. And, yeah. And, and he, he took him to them. The this is like the spectrum. They took him to the bathroom spectrum. You know how lovely they are. It's just dragged him in there. He passed out. He's puking all over himself. And she's going in there and cleaning him. And I'm like, and and, and then they finally had to leave. And I'm like, well, how was the band? He's, they were like, well, we, we didn't have to leave. We didn't get to Come on, man. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I said, if I'd paid for those tickets, and granted, it wasn't much, but, you know, we're kids. If I had paid for those tickets to go see Trump, I actually got my ass down there to see them. And this, I would have borrowed lipstick from that girl or some other hot chick, and I would have drawn a bullseye on his ass and left him face down on that toilet and gone back to see the damn band. God damn it. I mean, I wouldn't do that now, but then I might have done that. because I was pissed. I couldn't believe it. I, I told you we went to uh, see, what was it? Uh, I think it was a division bell, Pink Floyd uh, at the vet. We were on the field. I was there. And I think, no. I'm not sure which one it was, but I was there. I think it was Division Bell. We were we was at our pulse. I forget. It wasn't. It was one of the good ones. But 
we were um, we we're on the field, and these kids next to us bring up this gigantic bag of weed. And I'm like, oh, nice. oh hey, look, we can get wasted for nothing. And they started eating it. Oh, that's that's a gift. And I looked, I looked over at the kid, and I'm like, you selfish bastard. Like, come on. I was at Pink Floyd in 1991, so I don't know what tour that was. I want to see. Was that JFK? One of the last shows at JFK. Oh, it rained. That was that was the day that we had what we called the Tasmanian Devil event. Oh, so we're we're th- this is crazy. So we went with a whole bunch of people again. This you know now we're in college and whatnot. And uh, so we're at the concert. My friend Larry, we couldn't find him. Well, it turned out that we went to the what, the the sections were the same on both sides, but just different designations, but the same monikers i don't remember exactly but we were on the opposite side of the stadium from him it's before cell phones i don't don't know what concert that was it might have been for momentary lapse three years before four years before don't know anyway go on so he was on the other side of the stadium the whole show by himself thinking we didn't come (laughs) but i think we drove down together so i don't understand how that all happened but anyway you get get lost man so we're we're sitting in seats that theoretically weren't even ours and i'm with my girlfriend and all of a sudden we hear in the background and, oh, Bob Goldthwait was there, and, and like this is during the concert, and this guy is spinning from the top row down the seats toward us, and we're watching people get knocked over and falling over because he's he's coming down not the aisle, he's coming down the seats, <laughs> and eventually he ended up on the literally on the row. And seat in front of me, passed out, threw up all over the ground, and then the medics came and took him away. Oh, my God. But he came from, like, 25 rows behind us, and it was just... It was like a monster. It was crazy. I never saw anything like that. (laughs) That was an exciting moment. Oh, my God. A little disturbing. A little disturbing. A little disturbing. I just remember my first concert. It was, like, that Journey Philly Jam in 82, I think it was. So, oh, that was at JFK? Yeah, at JFK. We're sitting way in the back, back corner of the, the stadium. And these, these two girls and their mom sit down behind us, and the girls are in bikinis. Oh. Yeah, it sounds like a great story. Each one of them weighed about 300 pounds. Well, you just have to like that kind of stuff. Yeah, no. Um, so they brought they brought with them a, um, like an igloo cooler, like a really big one mm-hmm. with their snacks. How did they get that in the door? It was a different time. I and we uh, didn't bring our shit in. We, they brought a whole goddamn cooler. And the only reason I know is, well, A, I turned around and looked at him like, what the fuck? A cooler? God damn. But I don't, at some point, I think like during the third band or some, I think it was in the middle of the two of the sets. I forget when. They thought it would be a good idea for one of them to pick it up and throw it at the other. Oh. That Somehow, and I can't, in any way do the math and figure out how she missed and hit me in the back with a cooler of ice water slush. Hmm. And, yeah, on a hot day at JFK? I, I, I told you the story about how we got the lights turned on at the Spectrum during a Twisted Sister show. No. No? What'd you do? That guy can again. <laughs> and, you know, I won't say his last name. He's He's an accomplished business guy now. He's, you know, Mr. Professional, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's Ken Burns. Yeah. That guy from PBS? So, okay. So uh, we go to Twisted Sister. It was Twisted Sister and Iron Maiden. I believe that was the show. I'm trying to remember. Anyway. So at some point during the show, Ken and his infinite wisdom decided to take a strip of firecrackers. We were mm-hmm. sitting second row balcony or first row balcony and light them and throw them over the side. Which, you know, in the 70s, you heard that sound effect on records even. Yeah, but, but it he, kind of annoys the people it over it falls the edge on. And he Snyder shot, stopped the show. And uh, people who have been there know this story. Mm. He stopped the show. I wonder if that's on film anywhere. Had them turn the lights on 
and said, I want somebody to point out who did that. I leaned over to my friend Ken and I said, run, turn around and look back up the aisle as though it must have happened behind us. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. Kind of like the guy I thought dropped all the shit on I that really, basketball player. Dude, I really thought we're 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 gonna we're get gonna lynched. get in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Then the guy who was sitting next to us after Lakes went back down was the band was playing, must have been tripping acid or something. We didn't know him, but he was just the guy sitting next to us. He proceeded to move the arm on the chair oh, back and off. forth mm -hmm. enough that it broke off. Which he then took and threw into the audience. Brilliant. God knows what that did to somebody. I think that's why they, they bring beach balls, just so people have something to bat around and play with that doesn't kill anyone. I mean, we were part of the disturbance, and then I was disturbed by the disturbance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. Well, I always hated when you go to, like, you know, like a concert or you go to, like, a sports thing, and somebody has, like, a bed sheet. I used to do that. Yeah, but when you put it up, like, you don't put it up the whole goddamn time. We like, used to hang it from the, the rafter. No, I'm talking about the people that hold it up, like, right in front of you. No. Like, oh, no. Yeah, it happens down, at least in Philly. That's because everybody saw Kiss Alive. And they're like, I want to be famous. Yeah. No, you're going to be dead. You do that shit in Philly, man. People will murder your ass. That's not true. Yeah, There's no is. violence at the at the rock show. No. Uh, yeah, there really isn't. It's no. weird. I'm no. thinking, like, you do it at a sporting event down. I mean, I played every metal club. I grew up in Philly. Metalheads aren't really typically. There's not a lot of. Believe it or not, you would think no, there. They're is, not but angry dudes. They're not. It's plus it's hard to we fight would go to the, when we went to the dance clubs because my girlfriends always wanted to go to dance clubs. There was always a fight, and it was always about some girl and some guy. And what are you looking at? Hey, hey, hey I'll fucking kick your ass, you motherfucker! Don't yeah, but, e don't even look at me! I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! But that's always the There's Joey Ramone-looking guys, you know. It was always something like that, constantly. Yeah, it was always like little wimpy guys getting into it, and then he just. And then like, meanwhile, we're going to hard heavy metal shows, and it's like, hey, dude, your chick's hot. Thanks, man. That's cool. Like yeah. it was the mutual admiration society. I told you at the, at the Journey concert, we cut in line in front of the Warlocks. And the guy was like fine yeah, with it. He just he didn't yeah. care. You know, they're cool. Everybody just they're just there to have fun. They're not there to go crazy. It's funny. It's like, you know, you can jump in a mosh pit, you get the shit kicked out of you. But well, you that's know, a voluntary you, act. You just don't actually. go there. And you're like, hey, everything's fine. I did get sucked into one once. No, I didn't. I was in one a couple of times. Nope. Yeah. Definitely wasn't. It was all right. You know. I think the last time I did it, there was a girl in there and I'm like, I want no part of this. Like, I don't, I didn't want to kill anyone. It's like when we played hockey, and I remember charging somebody on the other team, and just as I got there, they fell, and I was going to run them right over, and then I realized, oh, I was dead. And I jumped over, like, head first, and dove around and killed myself instead. So, yeah, I mean, so that's the moral. Don't, girl, stop getting in there. Oh, what in the hell? Whose hell? You're distracted. My hell. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, uh, Jesus. Um, hmm. Well, I know we started late, and yeah. we may run a little late, but uh, you know what's almost upon us. Yeah. Yep. 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 Just, just be aware. I have stuff now, I think. Uh, oh, look at that. I got lots of stuff. Mind your surroundings, as they say. I know. I'm paying attention. We got seven minutes before we get going. You know, it's all good. Okay. So. I'm just... I want to talk about. Um, I, I know it's been a couple weeks now, but I, I want to talk about the uh, the Kiss A and E thing, and not so much specifically about the Kiss A and E special, uh, but about the guys, hmm. about the guys. Okay. So we'll do that. I want to do that after the news. Oh, you're doing it after the news. Okay, I mean, so I could, you're I doing it now, but I feel, like, I feel like I'm not going to be able to finish that or, or deal with it appropriately in seven minutes. That's true. Probably. We can do the news early if you want. Well, yeah, but, you know, there's like zero people waiting for you to do it at 9 o'clock. Oh, that's okay. They'll download it. But it's we up to you. We, we, we actually, I got to say, we, we hit uh, 300 listeners today. That's last impossible. Week. We did. What I've learned is. We only see the people that have accounts. We don't see the guests. The so if ghosts. somebody if somebody just comes on the Podbean and doesn't create an account, they can still listen. Hmm. And if they do listen, we can't see them. What's the average listening time? 
I don't have that. See, I couldn't find that info. I know. That's the I old know. Howard that's, Stern yeah, thing. How I long know. did I listen for? Yeah, I know. I could, the average uh, listener listens for 20 minutes and then they don't hang up. Yeah. I mean, we had someone come in and leave already tonight. Um, but well, that uh, was my mom. Yeah, well, that's okay. Well, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But, um, but no, on nights we usually do do decent engagement with, you know, decent number of people. And, um, like I know Bree said she listened to the whole show one night and I never noticed she was here. So. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, what so Joe Parent was listening. Oh, he's a good guy. So let's see what do we got here. Um, well, I could do I could do our. Um, we did get uh, some. E- we got three emails this week. Oh, uh, did Floyd Rose write in? I've been asking him to. Ah, uh, no, no, and I, I did not save anybody's name, and I'm not going to bother with that. But so. I'll, I'll start with the one that. Well, we didn't do the intro. We got an intro to this. Holy oh, hell, man! Something Jiminy. I'm just trying. To I'm find not the one, one that's done playing it. I'm yeah, just, but you're starting early. I I was just still working on this. I was stalling so for time. So I'm you know, and then just you know thing and um yeah. But let's try this one. Okay. Hold it. There's probably a commercial. Interesting. This must be Europe. Hmm. And it. now, the news. Oh, the news. With the news. This was reader mail. The newt. Oh, we can do the mail. We can do that. Oh, you're doing, oh, reader. Oh, reader mail, oh, dude. Oh, crap. I don't have any themes for that. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, here's the button I did. That was horrifying. You want me to just read it? Yeah. All right. Well, that's nice. There you go. So the first one I'm going to, I just ignored because I don't think it's a real question. And it was just, do you want to get peed on? Click here. So I assumed that wasn't something we we're going to engage with, right? I don't know anything about this conversation. I'm not saying no. Okay. All right. So the next if one. If somebody wants me to pee on them, just IM me and. It says, do you want to get peed on? We'll work on? it out with my dog and my wife. Okay. That's, that's fair. That's fucked up. All right. No, no. My dog loves that stuff. Getting peed on or peeing on you? Whatever. Hmm. Okay, righty. So the other one was said, uh, you guys drink a lot on your show. Are you alcoholics? So, I don't, I don't think so. Do you know for alcoholic? I don't understand what that word means. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Excuse I, me, I'm I, thirsty. I don't think so. We, I mean, we're not completely deranged. I mean... I mean, if you're not watching the show on Facebook, I mean, there's a lot of shit here Maybe to carry we're after. We gotta break this down. Me. Eh. I, I, this is the first drink I've had all week, so. I, I don't, I can't. No, can't, it's not mine. Not, not. Drink. Is it like a triple negative? I'm not saying I can. I just don't choose to. I'm one of those guys that I truly choose not to not drink. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's not it's not a problem. It's like I said, I I, I don't have to do it. I mean, what's it. a beer a night? Yeah. I mean what's what's three gin and tonics and a beer and a glass of wine a night? Well, I don't drink the wine, but I um I did I did have a that problem. Only happens on the when I was working for my dad, I did have a problem. The weekends. Because I was coming home every night and drinking a copious amount of rum. That was a problem. Mm-hmm. I don't do that anymore, except for the weekends. Um, but yeah, that was that was. I, bad. I just I, I lift weights. Yeah, twelve oh. ounces at a time. Box seven. There you go. We'll just. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. Where did the guitar go? I don't know. I heard the guitar. Did you hear? Off. I did. Was that from from here? Wasn't me. Don't even know what you're doing. Fucking yeah, alcohol. That's the news. Well, oddly enough, the other email, the last one I'm going to do, and I'm going to put this down now. Um, somebody said, uh, the guy who played guitar last week, Rock, where did he learn to play like that? So I'm, I'm assuming they mean you. Oh, I thought you were playing guitar. I was, but I was, don't think I rocked. Oh, I, uh, myself. Damn, we're interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I took lessons for a year. That's all I did. Just a year? That's it. Wow. Then I quit. I did the same thing. And then I, I thought can't I was play a goddamn playing thing. guitar, but then I was in a band, and I, 
literally learned playing in a band. That that's what a lot of people are saying now. It's it's it was like the best thing because you if you if you could hear the notes going out of key, which was important. Most if you can't hear that you're playing out of key, that's a that's a huge problem. Yeah, I forget who said it recently. You know, at least I read a story recently about it. You have to, you can't just get thrown in and be a musician. You can't thrown in and be a singer. You have to suck for a while. For sure. I mean, you can't, the, 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 dex, the dexterity doesn't come that quick. Well, you got to develop. I mean, you have to, you know, if you're just, if you're just going to come out there, you're going to take lessons for 16 years or whatever, and you're going to be a virtuoso. Are you really, do you have a style or are you just going to imitate other people? At least that's my opinion. Well, there's all different types of players. Because, I mean, you have a different, you play differently than other people I know. You have your style. Mm-hmm. You, you develop that playing in garage bands, I would assume, as a kid, and then. It, yeah, it was a garage band for three or four years, and then yeah. and then a band that played clubs uh, in front of lots of people. And I and it wasn't like we weren't we were playing in in uh, decent sized bars, 150 200 people a night. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less, but mostly yeah, the average was about 200 people a night. That's and not bad. Uh, it's trial by fire. You either you sink or you swim. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, when you when like I said, when you guys played the first Instinct show that I saw, you guys went in there and beat everybody up. But they were just developing. I mean, they, they took, were it young took balls bands. for those guys yeah, to get I mean, out there. That, and it's almost it's not. Listen, yeah, no, I'm I, not I, saying I'm a better better musician than them. They might have had great songwriting skills that I don't possess. But yeah, no, they 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 were. I'm they, out in the bar every weekend for the last twenty years, banging it out, doing cover tunes and and originals. So. Yeah. And that's the thing. You went, you did exactly what they did. You went out there, you threw yourself out on stage, you did your best, you developed yourself. I mean, shit, I, I think those girls that played that night did. Yeah, they were good. They were decent. They had a lot of heart. They did, and I bet you they're doing a hell of a lot better now. Yeah, if they're even playing. I think they just did. Typically, some, you know, things just happen that way. Yeah, you know, it just, you got to just keep at it. So I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. Let's touch on this after the news. All right, let's do the damn news. Ah, oh, see, it worked. Look at that. And now, the news. Ooh, I didn't have the echo on. Uh, With Jim Perry on the American Moron Entertainment Network. You fools. <laughs> no agenda here. All right, so I'm going to start out with um, something about the CDC. That's in the news a lot, right? They're fake. Yeah, they don't exist. They're making all this Delta shit up, oh. you son of a bitch. Oh, hey, Dad. Jim, uh, mm. get a job. I have a job. You son of a bitch, give me rent. Mm. No, I don't give a rent. Back rent. No, no. <laughs> you pimped me out as a lawn mowing. I don't care. Me. That was my lawn mower, and you owe me the money. Then I'm going to charge you for opening and closing the pool by myself and taking care of it since I was nine Did you years swim old. in it? Yeah. Good. I had to. I had Mine. To. I do remember. Son of a. Bitch. I do remember getting in the pool in March Ungrateful and having to fix something kids. in the drain. That was fun, but anyway. I had nothing to do with that, and it was your mother's fault, and it was your job. You were standing on the side of the pool, pushing me down with a pole. Good. That's what was stuck in the drain. You. Pretty much, yeah. Turned out it was a fish hook. It was very painful. All right. So anyway, the CDC. I thought it was a mermaid. No. CDC has noted on its website with a, a an animated GIF, which is redundant, I suppose, that diarrhea is the most common illness spread through recreational water. Yummy. Which is true because uh, my uh, my wife and kid both worked at a pool for a long time, and it, they were exposed many times know. due to cryptosporidium contamination from poo. Um, so this is the GIF. I don't even know it's a GIF. It looks like it's a GIF. It says nobody can see it though. Nobody can see it, but I'm going to describe. I it. just want to know if anybody who's listening, if they could in the on the Facebook, type in if they're hearing the news music right now. Just curious because we've been having some audio issues. Thank you. Back to you, Jim. Mm. So it's a picture of um, two little kids in the pool with a guy. That's a and problem. The, the guy's at the bottom of a slide, and I what I hope that I tell is some kid he knows at the top. Who's about to slide down? And if we play it, 
she leaves a skid mark down the slide. Nice. So that is their graphic representation of, I guess, leakage. don't shit in the pool. Yeah. I mean, don't let your kids swim if they're sick or give them a swim diaper or don't let them shit all over. I don't know. But people are really grossed out by it because we live in a society of babies. But um, anyway, as far as I'm concerned, the moral of the story is don't shit, don't shit. in the pool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it seems obvious, right? Okay, uh, where the hell? Oh, of course, it's fucking Florida. Um, Don't fuck with me again. I'm sorry. So, apparently a truck had an accident on I-95, and a uh, flock, I guess, of homing pigeons got free. And didn't know where the hell to go. So they just hung out on I-95 and closed the home. exit ramp. <laughs> um, Should they go home? I don't know, you would think. 100 homing pigeons fall off a truck. And two rabbis and a po- the Pope walked into a bar. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know where the hell the Volva County is in Florida or whatever no, it is. No, come on. It's Volusia or something. Okay. I don't know. I'm afraid to pronounce words. You yell at me all the time. You owe me for one jelly donut. Yeah, so yeah, don't go on I-95 ever because it's in near Florida. Dirty, filthy, stinking place. Can you yeah. s- mark it hey, better Mark. now? They are fucking filthy. He says he can't hear the music, which means that it's not working again. Hmm. How could this be? Your 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 laptop's not working. Can he hear you play like uh, clips and I don't know. soundboard shit? I don't know. Something's not right. Can you hear this? I don't know. I don't we know. Have Thirty second delay. So. There we go. We'll find out. There's a. So um, in San Francisco, I where suburb. I am. Friggin' damn, damn, friggin', friggin', friggin' damn, damn. A suburb of San Francisco, or a San Francisco suburb, however you want to say it, um, called Hillsboro, which I don't think anybody gives a shit. Apparently somebody built a Fred Flintstone-like house there. In a really nice neighborhood, though. I think I heard about this. Yeah, a guy built, like, I. it looks like it's made out of, I don't know. I, I'm, let me see. I mean, I know I've read this. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it's fiberglass. He built a big fiberglass. It doesn't yeah, we, look. It doesn't I live down really there. Look, I live down there next to. But it doesn't look like Fred's house. That's what I don't care. Me. I live next to that house. It looks like that. It's the that park, is not. The, that's not Fred's house. That looks like some bulbous shit. Yeah, it looks like a. Bunch maybe of maybe it's Barney's yeah, house. I, I just tell people I live next to the. So I get. I, I get it. So yeah. basically, the town's been pissed that they live in this very very expensive neighborhood, and this asshole built this. Disturbing. You know what the disturbing part is? That house costs more than mine. Probably, yeah. Yeah, because I, uh, I got a, I got a Cadillac Escalade. You know, I got money. But yeah, well, somebody the the what the hell is this? I forget the person's name. The last name is Fang, which is awesome. Um, they got Wasn't fined a whole he bunch. Married of money. to that that comedian? No. Fang. No. My husband Fang got a whole. Yeah, I don't think he's so. got the Phil Dillers. He has a husband was named Fang. Yeah. But what's fucked up is the city is paying Fang two hundred twenty five thousand dollars to drop the suit, which is weird. If I knew I could get paid to be a douchebag, I would be more of a douchebag. Um, I don't know. Right. But anyway, they're going to keep building it. They've got to apply for building permits. Which I can't even imagine filling out that paperwork. But yeah, that's it's it looks like a bunch of bubbles what and is a couple Fred of Flintstone thinking of. I don't think Fred Flintstone's even alive anymore. No, so. but there's got to be somebody doing the voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's not uh, the, the, the guy. So and it's amazing. I did not do this on purpose, but these are all stories from Florida. I usually stick to Florida. No, it, it, I didn't try this time. It's, it's just, just the, way, that's it the way it works. Uh, a Tampa pastor says he will cure coronavirus. Oh, good. But only in America. Yes. He uses whiskey. Now, it's very weird because I tell me if this is redundant. A conservative preacher... I'm just thinking it's redundant. Anyway, he said he claimed that he cleansed Florida of Zika virus and now plans to do the same with coronavirus. So I wonder if he can do that with, like, bacterial infections or if it's just How did he take care of Zika virus when it was completely contained? Spell. Uh, I see how this works. He cursed it in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, I cursed a lot of things in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, I did too all the time. Else. Never works. I just get in trouble for taking you the Lord's name. You still keep showing them. up at my door. I know. Sorry. Yeah, I come through the garage. My lab in the front oh, door. That's right. It's dog see, barking it's at It's me. working. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So this guy's, you know, he's got opinions. So he, he thinks he can do this. So I'm going to do it for America because, you know. Um, he Fuck all, yeah. He also um, was just, he wanted to talk about that Vegas shooting. You know, that one a few years ago. 58 people. Yeah, I went there right after that. Yeah, he said that was um, that was a false flag operation. Chemtrails are real, and the people that rule the planet are Satanists who make human fact sacrifices and drink blood. Well, you should know that by now. Yeah, I have a problem with that. But just because I, I get the adrenochrome part. I, I, saw, I saw Fear you and Loathing. I, I know we didn't land on the moon. Oh, yeah. There was a studio somewhere, and they had special effects with CGI that wasn't developed yet. And I'm sure the Russians played along, but they've never taken any high-resolution photos of the no. moon and Chinese. They were all for it. They were all like, good. fuck them bastards. Yeah, never seen photos. Yeah, because it's all controlled by NASA, right? Yeah, those bastards. You see how, how, how powerful they are nowadays? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, there is a there isn't more than a Florida thing here. This guy's from Hillsborough County, Florida. Second Hillsborough story, but the other one was in San Francisco. So this guy's name is Sonny Soleil, and I'm sure that's his real name. Ah, um, Sonny Soleil. Sonny Soleil. Sonny Soleil. So. Sonny Soleil. Sonny Soleil. Oh, and the first comment is God is already cleansing the place. That's what COVID-19 is. God's cleansing God, God I love Christians. They're so nice. I don't know anything about that. <sighs> another Florida man. I'm going to do another one. This, is a, this is a very quick one, but a Florida man. You know those guys, right? Was arrested for masturbating in a public library while watching pornography Come on, on one man. of the computers. Yeah, so um, I don't know, man. I can think of a lot of places to whack off, but public library doesn't come into play. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, that wasn't no, that wasn't Florida. All right, sorry. Let me let me move on here. Uh, and lastly, again in Florida, two. Men were arrested after a home was burglarized. Um, I don't care about the specifics. Anyway, they chased these guys. Now, where the I forest. come from, we don't say specifics. We say specifically. Specifics. Specifically. 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 Yeah, I think you got it wrong. Yeah, probably. I get a lot of stuff wrong. Specifically. Specifically, because we don't like the East Coast, so we, we say specifically. So, specifically, this these knuckleheads... Tried to hide by uh, burrowing into a uh, gopher turtle what the hole. Just not that cool. Mm. Uh, yeah, so they found a fire. <laughs> they found a firearm, hydrocodone, oxycodone, and meth on them. Well, that always helps when you're digging it. Yeah, yeah, it helps because it, it, yeah, it doesn't hurt your fingernails yeah. and get ripped well, look off. At, is that them? That's that's them. Well, they look good. They look like normal Floridians, <sighs> especially that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's What's a little. That's like that's that's the poster child for phrenology, right there. You just look at him and say, "Look at the shape of his head. He's obviously a criminal." But they'll go to jail. They'll you find can't God. Say that stuff. They're proven guilty. They, they're coming to jail. Sue me. I got nothing. I got nothing. And the news is over. So that's the news. Oh. On the American Moron Entertainment Network. You're listening to the American Moron Entertainment Network. Day, day. Hey, guys, what's going on? Good. Never. Mm. Thank you. That was the news. That was disturbing. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. I didn't set out to be that graphic and disgusting, but it well, just. You're graphic, but you're disgusting. Yeah, I'm trying. Trying my best. It's hard. The real news, the news that you hear on the regular TV, is more disturbing than the shit I talk about. So, it's all good. The news is still playing. Hey, Doctor Dick. What the hell? Was that, that was my cat. Oh, yeah, you got fat cats too, huh? Nope, she's skinny. He's skinny. That's just him jumping off of things. Oh, yeah, mine falls off a cat tree, and it sounds like a meteor hit the fucking house. So. All right, so you, uh... I see it all the time. When yeah. What did you, what were you holding off till after the news? Oh, we were going to talk about KISS yeah. A&E special. Yeah. But, but really what I want to talk about was, so, you know, KISS fans, not the world, nobody cares. Nobody really cares. Yeah, fuck the world. 
Peter and Ace were not actually on the Kiss special. They were recordings from the past, and both guys declined to be on the sh- on the show. And Ace's comment was that the offer that they made him was degrading. It was it was just too small of a amount, a dollar amount. Oh, only a million. I'm sure it was. Honestly, I bet you it was only like a couple thousand dollars. Mm. That's true. I don't get out of bed for less than huh? less than but, a couple of grand. Anyway. Like, dude, how much money do you have? And hey, that could do something and help you financially and more specifically, or specifically, specifically depending specifically. upon where you live. Specifically, <laughs> it it could. Uh, who knows? It it would have been a cool thing to do for the fans, and it wouldn't have taken much out of your life other than like you and me sitting here doing this for, yeah, absolutely fucking nothing. Yeah, what the hell? So, it's it's just um, it's just crazy, man. I, I need to interject one moment. Apparently, something's going on outside. I don't know what, but I uh, I didn't get to see it, and one of our neighbors is texting about it. Maybe somebody set off fireworks and called the police and blamed us again. Nah, yeah, probably. It's strange. I, but anyway, you know, I, I just this whole thing with uh. I mean, if you need to go step out. No, no, I don't want to know. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't hear any explosions or earth-shattering kabooms or anything. No, so my wife that. would be a thrill. She would. Did somebody say yeah. earth-shattering yeah. kaboom? Drugs and alcohol. Well, that's, don't touch it. Yeah, that's every day. Here. Let's come together. Anyway. Something's going on. Okay. So, uh, you know, my, my whole thing was like, you know, d- d- do the stupid show. I mean, come on. Come on. And then... You know, on on the on the on all these di- different Kiss platforms, everybody starts getting like, "Oh, you know, those guys should have never have gone on without them." Those guys quit. They quit. They sold their makeup rights, voluntarily, sold off their song rights. That was their choice, because they thought they were on a sinking ship. Didn't think it would ever come back around. And the other two guys carried on and carried on and carried on through the worst of times and the best of times and the semi-good times. And then they had the reunion. And then those guys were, well, we want, we want equal pay. You quit. So imagine it like this. You're at a job. The company's a company of four people. You quit. And the company was doing well, but it was four people, and you're making a lot of money. And the company goes on for years and years without you. And now it's a yeah. big company. It's 400 people working there, 500 people working there. And the remaining three people from that four are making millions of dollars. And you're coming back in for an event. You know, you were, let's say it was a computer company. You helped design You something. didn't buy stock. And now you want to come back for the, oh, okay, the, the sound's back, by the way. Yay. You want to come back in for the special 25th anniversary of the company and they're going to have a party and you're going to work for the company and you want to be equally compensated to the original three that sure. you left. Yeah, absolutely. That's not how any of this works. I mean, I want to. I wouldn't Where expect to Where were you for the last 23 years? It doesn't work that way. Bands are no different. It's the same thing. It's business. It's business. And then people turn around and say, those guys are greedy Jews. Yeah. I'm just going to call it what, what, what I hear because I hear it. And people don't know I'm Jewish that don't have eyes and can't see the hook. You are. And they say it. And no, that's not what's going on here. It's not what's going on here. With that being said, I don't think the band was ever as good as it was as it was in the, in the original 70s years when oh, they yeah. did the stuff with Ace and Peter. That was the best music they made. The music they made with Eric Singer was good the music they made with eric carr and bruce kulik was excellent but that doesn't mean you can walk back in and get equal 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 and then when you did get back in and they gave them decent salaries you were told please don't do drugs please stay blah 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 i watch shows where ace was just up there dialing it in looking as bored as he could possibly be it was m3 wasn't it no that that was non kiss show that was a solo yeah. that was the most fucked up horrible show i ever saw in my life i felt bad for you because i knew how much you. i was devastated i was like i was like don't say anything don't say anything don't don't it it was bad it was bad with a capital b a capital a and a capital d Ah. 
atrocious, atrocious, inexcusable performance. I, I said he was sick, still but very I don't angry. buy it. I don't. Whatever was going yeah. on, then cancel. Do not come out and do that. Or get, have the balls get on Mike and say, we're having some issues here. I wasn't even sure what he was doing. At I'm one playing point. a bar with 75 people and shit's going sideways. I get up and say, this isn't going right. And I cut the tune. I have the balls to admit when shit's not going right. And I'm playing in front of 75 fucking people. And you, you drink your gin and tonic, break the glass, and slash the throat of the sound guy. Oh, that's me. Yeah. And now sometimes oh, I got to add lyrics in there. Yeah. But seriously, man, I, you know, what? Come on. Yeah. Anyway, y- you don't walk away, and it, it, it doesn't work like that. And they, it, Yeah, and they, they, they wandered off. It's not like, you It'd know. It'd be a different if you didn't quit, and the band broke up, and everybody went their way, and they came back together and put it, okay, we're going to get back together, and we're going to do this thing. That's not what happened here, kids. That's not what happened. Or maybe come back and when take Led a Zeppelin pay cut? got back together and did their one show, I'm sure that uh, outside of Jason Bonham, they all got equal pay. It wasn't like, oh, Robert Plant's getting an extra thirty dollars because he, you know, whatever it is, you know, hairspray. You know Definitely what I'm saying? Hairspray. It wasn't like that. It, that's different. The band hadn't played together since 1980. That's different. It's fucking different. Understand it. Um, Think about farming? it. Okay. Farming. Okay. Farming. Yeah. That is your right. No, it's the truth. So yes. That's what I wanted to talk about, and I only uh, I only killed about. But they nine they got minutes. they still got paid for. They were compensated. The, they had to they get got something salaries. Yeah, but they didn't get so. All right, so 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 I'm not going to be. I'm not going to come down for an nine, hour's worth of work for say eight thousand dollars. But if you give me fifteen hundred to use the old clips, I'm good. They didn't give them anything. Uh, that's what I was saying. I was wondering if they got any compensation. For no, it was that. already paid for in the old clips. It's dumbass. Dumbass. Think about it. It's already there. Yeah, that's that what was I'm already about. discussed. So, imagine, imagine, you and I create something at a job. We make a, a a widget. You're paid during the week for that widget that you did, and they give you a little bonus. Yay! And then they sell more of them 15 years later for yeah. some reason. Mm-hmm. Do you expect more compensation? If it was in your contract, maybe. No, I, I have actually, I've actually, when I was a programmer. You sign your, away your, your I rights. Have, I have created I stuff. those. I created stuff that went into TV Guide. Remember mm-hmm. that? Yeah. You remember the time and channel info? Sure. It came up on the thing. I wrote the program for that. I rewrote the whole thing from scratch. I did it. And now? I didn't get a dime for exactly. it. Exactly. Because I was working for the company. When I worked for a big corporation, I had to sign an affidavit when I came to the company about Anything that I created, made, or developed while I was there was not their yours. property. Yeah. It's like what Disney Slave does. Slave to the man. They, they strap you down to a quart of blood and pretty much, I think they shanghai your family and kidnap them and threaten their lives if you divulge their secrets. Bullshit, I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Nope, it's Gross. all true. Ugh. Oh, no. We stopped again. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I, I yeah, I don't get what the that's the thing. But there was it's all like, this there was, there was there was all this conjecture on um online about all this like hey, it should have been, they shouldn't have done it without them. Well, people like to argue about anything. Christ, they argue about the moon landing. As I saw today, I saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So people just love the this stupid. Well, they, they just can't. It, I'm I'm surprised. Listen. I went to school. We all went to school. I done went to school. We studied. Uh, you know, I, 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 I guess maybe, I don't know. I graduated 112th in my class. Class of seven or 800 or 900 people. I don't know how many it was. I I applied myself mediocrely. Mediocrely. I mean, maybe, you know, depending on how much my parents were bugging me. Mm. I guess people just scrape through. They just scrape through. Yeah, you know. I remember a guy I knew. He they didn't pay attention to history. And the same people who didn't pay attention to history are walking around now not understanding what's going on in the world. We, we had a, I have a guy who he has all kinds of opinions about politics and everything else. And when we went and, – and I know there's going to be people out there going like, that doesn't mean anything, eh, whatever. But um, he, he, was, he was like we had 300 people in my graduating class. He was like uh, third from the last. And I'm like, look, and there's there's kids. My 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 daughter goes to school with kids who, throughout junior high, they're like, none of this matters. You don't have to apply yourself. I'm like, if you fail 
you know, seventh grade, it matters because you're going to be the biggest kid in seventh grade next year. Dude, you know what's funny is, and, and I can relate to this on the loser level of, of the band. Seriously. And so there not, was a guy definitely who, not alcohol. who used to be in the band. And uh, that guy. Who said, you know, when, when stuff was going right for the band, well, I helped create that band. Okay, but are you in it now when the stuff's happening? No. So does it have anything to do with you? Well, theoretically, you were there at the inception, but years later, no. That has nothing to do with you. You're not there. So piss off. Piss off. This album was written without, without those guys. None of them were on here. There you go. Can't see that. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just absurd. Man. There there's always people that are gonna argue about bullshit for no reason. Like there was I saw a thing and I God almighty, I hate this world we live in. I don't know how many times I, I, I start saying that I saw something dumb online is the next word that tumbles out of my gob. Um the new diner that's coming. Really cool. We don't have a diner in our town. We used to have tons. We don't have any. I have news about that. It's a diner. It's not a restaurant. It's a diner. Frozen shit. It's edible. It's open 24 hours. This is going to be actually better than that. No, I know that. I know. But, I mean, you know, it, it's a diner. I don't expect. I mean, Manila's is a diner and it used to be a shithole. No, this is going to be Now a it's a lot nicer. Whole so whole different level. No, I know that. I'm just saying. We, it, the big thing for me is the 24 is hours. Gr- that's a big thing for me. It's a 24-hour place. When I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I want something to eat, I'm not going to the fridge. We got somewhere I'm to go in the car. on the way home. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's going to have a lounge and all that kind of stuff. I hate the name of the lounge. I hate it so That's much. Okay. I hate it. But um, but I but I got I got news for you. But Well, here's the thing. Let me finish. Okay, you do, you so do that. You, you, you people, do that, Jim. People were arguing about it right. online. Well, of course. People posted something like, it's KOP, you know, somebody just KOP had, soap opera. the community page is not about the community. It's about being dicks. So somebody just asked, you know, does anybody <laughs> know when it's opening? And that's the question that gets asked all the time. And inevitably, the answer eventually becomes, um, why don't you just look on uh, the other 8,000? Like, I'm going to fucking search. Like, yeah. I got time for that. Well, but yeah. the other thing was people mm-hmm. were bitching, why do we need a diner? There are tons of them. There's here. no why we. It's it's the person that chose to open a business. It's just no, it's just you got to argue. It's a, that's why I don't even ask questions. Like I don't I try not to the, to make I don't I try to have an opinion online anymore because I don't want to argue with morons. I don't. Stop being stupid, you moron. Yeah, I don't have time to argue with people who are just dumber than a Fucking rock! I don't. I got to give a shout out to Gary D'Angelo. Just you quick. should. Okay. So, Gary, old school. Oh, yeah. is going to be playing at that place. Yeah, I'm working on two dates right now. I can tell you one of them is November nineteenth. Old school will be at. I write that down. King, I don't you don't have to. It's fine. I'll oh. put it all over the oh, Facebook there you go. nonsense. Somebody does that. But we're gonna be on there. <laughs> November 19th. Well, you are. I am I'm too. also working on a, a date uh, in September with them. Um, just, i got to finalize a couple things, and it's going to happen. So uh, we're going to be a fixture there, baby. Nice. And my uh, my drummer, actually, he he does stuff on the side with another company. Obviously, he has a regular job. Ah, the mafia. He's putting in uh, they're putting lights in there, and they're putting a PA system in. Nice. So they're going to have front lights. We're going to, when we come, though, there'll be more lights. old school lights. That's what what we do. Mm. So I promised online that coming up now we're going to do uh, some some guitar talk in a few moments. Mm, so nice. Let that sit, settle in. It is coming. Hi Patricia, how are you? Good to see you. Hear or at least your head. yellow hand. Um. So uh, I just need to get a refill on my beer. I'm going to okay. let you stall for that, and then all right. Um, and then would you like one too? I'll get you. Because uh, sure. we are alcoholics. Sure, okay. sure, sure. I will take another. one. I'll take four. If you could get me six, that'd be great. But I like seven. Because I like to drink more and more and more. I have so many things that I just love to do. Mostly, s- s- can I have a beer, please? Yeah, that did you get it. You got it. I was actually had a, I actually wrote something down. I couldn't even read it because I was working at the time. I just wanted to go and tell everyone I had chickpeas today. It's gross, man. No, it's not because of that. I don't like them. My mother used to eat them, and anything my I chickpeas. Saw my mother eat. Dude, when I saw my mom eat Captain Crunch one time, I didn't eat it for like a decade. 
It was disgusting. Yeah, I don't. I, I actually did. What like Captain Crunch? Crunch? Disgusting. The way my mother eats. Yeah, the way she used to eat. Yeah, when it's like falling out of her mouth and do the bowl, and she's just scooping it back up. And it oh, well, it's gross. Yeah, she horrified me in so many ways. So yeah, Captain Crunch, chickpeas. I can't stand. I don't know why. I think it's honestly. They, I do know why. It's because I saw her eat them. You know, I, I'm a bad person, but. Ugh. I just, I, I, I got them today and some little thing I ate for lunch and I saw them and I was like, fine, fine, fine. I didn't, you know, I don't know why in the middle of today I wrote that down and I must have been writing with my left foot or something because my God, I could, I can barely read this chicken scratch. Oh, and we forgot to talk about Biz Markey. Oh, no, we didn't. We don't care. Never mind. So that's about that. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Who cares? I love chickpeas. Where do you come from? You call them garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. You come from Italy. Oh. But uh, no, love I just. Love the chickpeas. Love them. Yeah, love them. No, love I, them. I never ate them. I watched my mom eat them in salad once, and I just like. Love them. All right. All right. You're going to do your thing. Peace off. All right. So uh, tonight's guitar is going to be. I love the effect. I'm sorry. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. A 1978 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Ooh. And if you've never seen me before, or I should rather say, if you've seen me before, yes, I've played this guitar online. I've done live broadcasts. This is my favorite guitar. I have two, two or three guitars that I really love, and this is, is one of them. 1978 Wine Red Les Paul Custom. Here she comes. Here, I'll show you. The problem is, is if you're listening, you can't see. <laughs> anyway, on Facebook, wow. you can see. It's 1978 Les Paul Custom. This thing, I bought it in a guitar store used for $550. 1991. Pickups People were replaced. People were alive back then. And the, the lead pickups were replaced. The hardware is replaced. Everything's replaced. It's just a shell of what it was. But this thing came. Hey, well, let's just see how this sounds good. Ready? God, I thought somebody dropped a couch upstairs. I don't think I have the microphone on. You ready? No, oh, sure. No, 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 there it is. To quote Nigel Tufnell. And who doesn't? Listen to that sustain, man. I mean, seriously, listen to that. It's actually kind of got a Hendrixy sound. That's the neck pickup. And, you know, like, this amp isn't cranked. This, it's, a, it's a half stack, but we could sit in here and have a conversation. It's not, it's not cranked up or anything. That's distortion pedal. It's nothing even special. Here's the here's the lead. So the neck pickup was a uh, for those who care. It's gold. A Gibson fifty seven classic pickup. Pick fifty seven classic plus. The bridge pickup. I found out was was in the guitar when I got it in ninety one. It's a Seymour Duncan distortion, which started my odyssey with buying Duncan distortions for all my guitars. And here's the here's the lead pickup. <laughs> Jesus. This is going forever? Almost. That's oh, pretty damn. awesome, man. You do that, just leave and go get a drink. <laughs> Bye. 
This is just tuning the guitar, so. So bad, man. So <laughs> bad. So I'll tell you some things about this thing, all right? Tell us things. Yep. It's a mahogany body. With a maple maple cap on the top. Nothing beautiful, obviously. It's just straight. Well, it says you. Ebony fretboard. And a maple neck. Maple neck, because that's what New Orleans, the owners of Gibson, were doing back then. Traditionally, traditionally, uh, it would have a mahogany neck. And it, it does have a different tone with a mahogany neck. But I have two maple neck uh, Les Pauls. And this is one of them. And she's just... She's my little baby. This is number number one two. She's got a little mm. bit of tuning problem with these new strings. <laughs> <laughs> She's not stretch them. Anyway, so I got no commentary from the peanut gallery. At I all. know that's what I was doing. I was like monitoring them because you're you're doing stuff. I figured I'd hang out and answer their questions. Not you. What? No, I mean there on Facebook. So have you been bringing this one to shows? I've been holding off from that because it's gotten some scars. I thought I hadn't seen it in a while. What'd you replace it with? Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the one you just bring like, that like one? cheaper guitars. I mean, this thing, I don't know, it's worth probably like three grand or something. It's worth something like that. But, you know, but, uh, you know, the, back in my instinct days, I wrote a couple tunes on the... And ballad and it'll be sad. I'll play you the actual tune. It'll make, make a lot more sense. Oh. Whole band actually, backing you and shit. Yeah, it's just easier. Here it is. This is the actual tune that, that I wrote. That's not it. Oh, you lion sack of shit, you. Yeah. Like a kiss playing in the background here. Now, the beginning is an ovation acoustic guitar. This was a track that wasn't even supposed to be on the record. Suddenly standing track we did. alone by this wall. I patiently waited for love to come along. Watching the hourglass pass by the sands of time. Remembering dreams. Of you I left behind you I left behind Interesting fact about this song. Yeah. We were talking about Jeff Labar earlier. Yeah. That's his best friend playing drums on this. Oh really? Yeah, his name is Dan DiGiacomo. Oh nice. At the time, it was his best friend. Very nice. Small world. In Philly, it's not, it seems to be, yeah. 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 It was a cloudy day, there's no way it could rain. That's the last part. But it was in the air, and like a storm it came. It just blew my mind when I looked at you. 
Uh, instinct. Yeah, I heard these guys are playing somewhere soon. Yeah, September seventeenth. Nice, 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 nice. So, does that put it in better context? Like, it's not. You said yeah. ballad when I first started playing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it was ballad in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. No, I know you. I knew it was going to stay that way. supposed to be something right in here yeah we never finished it oh well we got until september Resolved note at the end. <laughs> I, I, I think you guys got to dust off the uh, the leather leathers and the spandex. I'm just show. I'm just wondering if they're going to want to do this song because they they all seem reluctant to do this tune. Why? I don't know. Well, Sue Avant Garde. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard you guys play. We this. have not. Maybe maybe one reunion show we did. Should this. I whine? You should and, and cry and, and suggest tomorrow night. You should come down and protest in the park. Just like you know, go up to Russell, hey, slip a dollar, and sons of a bitches. slip a dollar into his underwear. And, uh, Isn't that funny though? What doing that to Russell? I don't think he'd think that. I think he'd be really upset if I put money in his pants. Whoa! That that was my main guitar, and then I had one that looked like this, but you can't see on the uh, leather one. But this thing's very. It's a uh, seafoam green. And then my my main guitar in that band was well, it's in the other room, but it's it's basically this one. Hmm. 
That's a that's an Ibanez RG five seventy. Don't ask me. Made in Japan. If now they don't make uh, Ibanezes in Japan. Don't don't do it. They don't do it. When was the last one you built? Uh, it's in the bag. Uh, uh, it's in its uh, case in the other room. Gotcha. It was on the wall last week. Yeah, I know. So I, so I turned around to look for it. I, actually, I like it. I, I, I played. I broke a string. At, we were playing a party this week, and I, I broke a string, and I played that one. Yeah, how was Quite that? That was fun. Yeah? Yeah. Then it rained yeah. as we were packing up. Luckily, we were done playing. And then, um, and then I, you know, we got out of there, and then... I went. I I came home. I took a shower, and my wife and I decided we we're going to go out and get something to eat. So we went to Park Casino in Ben Salem. You can eat there. Oh, right, they can. That's right. Yeah, the chicken and peas. Don't they? No. The, I they, they got stuff. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the whole story. So we, we right. go there. We're like we're going to go to Chicken and Pete's and have something to dinner. You know. So we get there, and as we got in our spot, the heavens above opened up like I've mm. never seen before. I mean, it was a rainstorm. It wasn't like I hadn't seen that but before. But it's weird. It didn't do that here. Like no. It kept threatening, but then didn't. And I saw a lightning show that I've never seen in my entire life. I mean, we're not seriously, dude. I'm not kidding around. Yeah. It, the, the whole sky was lit up for 35 minutes nonstop. We were watching the lightning hit the lightning posts or whatever they were, lightning rods, lightning rods. on top of the buildings that were all around us. Non stop, like right. usually you, know, you see lightning hit like once or twice in the same place of like a lightning. Was it hitting like actually at parks? Yeah, oh yeah. It, it was louder than hell, loud as hell, man. So we were sitting here's the casino to the right of us, and Little here's the left. horse racing track. Mm -hmm. It was hitting the horse track building, mm -hmm. top makes two sense. posts, over and over and over and over. Flat area, yeah, makes and sense. I'm like, whoa. So, anyway, after that, we decided, you know, we're finally broke up and we went in and we tried to get a date table at uh chickies and pizza and it was insane in there mm. so we walked into liberty bell oh, okay which is next to the uh the beer garden and the sports sports book yeah, lost me at beer garden and uh i like going there because the band used to play there we used to play uh parks 360 and whenever we did we always well, at least it seemed like always we most of the time we went to liberty bell to celebrate after it was just a lot of fun that was fun Anyway, so that was that was my Saturday night after playing a hot and sweaty afternoon b birthday party in a backyard with um, I don't know there were like seventy five people there and a swimming oh, wow. pool full of people and it was a lot of fun though. I mean it it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of cool people there. And oh, cool! That guy that I was saying, Gary, who uh, who uh, Gary D'Angelo, he actually was at the party. Uh, he spent some time joking around with him and his wife and some other people. Boobies! That's what we were talking about. <laughs> I was just talking about how guys, like you know, you know, guys, you know, you're 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 just you're living your life, you're just doing your thing, and 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 you're moseying on through life, and everything seems normal. So I'll give you I'll give you my scenario. Normal. All right. So you're you're meeting with your financial advisor if you have one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Mister uh, Edna. Uh, we see here. Yes, if we make these investments in these here, right here, this this will make here a net net. So I said, I was like, boobies. And like that, it's over. You're distracted. Mm. You're just, it's over. And you may, a guy, a guy does this all in their head. They, they won't even say anything. They're, they're, they look like they're into it. They're listening to the financial guy or they're in school or they're in class or they're at work. Church. It doesn't matter. Church. It could be anywhere. Boom. Boobies. Yeah, church was the worst. It just happens. It happens. When, when, I, when I'm with the guys in the band. Hmm. Thinking about boobs when you're with no, them? No, when we're playing, though. Oh, yeah. if some, If there's an attractive individual woman that walks past, we have a whole system oh, dear. of eye contact that we make to let each other know where to look and what's going on. Not a word is spoken, not a finger is pointed, nothing is done, but it's all happening. But bubs are involved. And we see everything, except I always miss the flashes. The flashes? Yeah, we used to get flashed a lot of gigs. Oh, that. I've actually never seen that happen at a gig. It used what to the be fuck? at the rib house all the time. That I would, that I don't think about that. I don't know what happened, but I never, I never got to see it. <laughs> well, you're busy. I was. It was probably during when I was doing like a guitar. It's probably solo. because you were in a solo. Shaky wasn't doing anything. 
Well, this was even when 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 uh, we had Terry in the band. Well, that's even better. I mean, they would flash her. A lot of flash. Go on. Very cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've never seen anything too disgraceful, but Who does? um, it's the dis- it's the distraction. That the keeps demo is kind of skewed a little bit recently. There's a whole nother demo. Oh, I know, I know that. I know it. It, it varies. I know. Mm-hmm. So it'll get. It's going to vary more. I mean, it now just, that more people are starting to come out, mother of God, yeah. Yeah, it's getting as long a little as, crazy. As long as fucking people go get vaccinated, so we don't get locked up again. God damn it. Oh, they don't care. I care, it's fuckers. I don't real. care if you you want to blow your brains out, blow your brains out, but don't <laughs> drag me into it. Yeah, even my even my my cousin, who's mostly. It's it's funny how ninety five percent of the cases being reported now are people who are yeah. vaccinated. And and normally I'm like I'm 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 really easygoing when it comes to that. If you want to die, die. I, I don't care. It's more room for me. That's fine. But it's just I don't want to get put in lockdown again. I just Dude, don't. There's a doctor who was around for polio. He's a hundred years old. He remembers all of this. Yeah. The same thing happened during the smallpox. Oh, smallpox forever. People were like, that's going to give me smallpox. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There were cartoons. I just, I just, I just thought we were cartoons. better than this. And and I think a lot of this, well, two things. A lot of this comes from that fake bullshit about um, vaccines causing. Uh, I know. Whatever. That, that guy lied. He did lie. He admitted to it. But people still ran with his banner. But the other thing I find kind of interesting. Remember um, the swine flu vaccine? Thing sure. Back sure. When kids? Yeah, we were, I remember getting that in the hallway at school. I was reading about that recently. Like I was under the impression from all the press it got, and 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 I and I confirmed this last week when I read this. A couple, I looked all over the place reading stories from everywhere. And that was a mild one yeah. compared to the, what's going on. But no, it wasn't even mild. I I could not. I thought I thought like everyone else. I think thinks that the issue with it was that people got the shot, dropped dead, because that is literally what was being put out in newspapers and TV and stuff. That people were getting the shot dead, or they were dying soon after. That did not happen with any anything like this. Anything like the flu shot. If you're allergic to eggs, you're fucked. Because guess what? It's got eggs yeah. in it. Um, you there's going to be like. Let, let's think about this. There's going to be a small percentage of people when we who are going to have anaphylactic when we reactions. Were kids, they gave you the measles, mumps, rubella, rubella shot. They they had a yeah. name for it. MMR. We got it. Yeah, my kid got it. I said, "Is there any more you can give her? Anything? I don't fucking care. Give it all to her. It's fine. Yeah, and she's no more retarded than anybody else. I know I'm retarded, but yeah, but I'm not. But I don't use that term because that's that's you shouldn't use that. Why? I think that what? No, why? It doesn't. I'm not calling yeah, somebody but, retarded. But, I'm just saying it, it's retarded. You mm, mentally? See, that, that's not acceptable anymore. It that's retarded. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> But no, it's just it, it's just it's just crazy. It's it, it's just it, the, the whole thing with um with uh, swine flu was they picked the wrong one. Swine flu wasn't the major flu that year, so they guessed wrong. That was the problem with it. But from the stories you heard that were circulating around when everybody around, and that, you know, and that was before the internet. Now, holy hell! But uh, whatever. Let's get it's it's all a mess. We live in a, a hellish world. We're in a hellscape. And we need a we need a, a good war to purge some of this shit out. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I had a friend who said that back in the eighties, an older friend. We, dude, what this country needs is a good war. How many when when you we were kids? How many times did you think we were going to war though? The station just sent these over. They're all about last night's wrestling match, and they've been listen slaughtered. to this guy. The phone call. Bring back the little old lady and the Boston strong girl. Greatest fight ever. Fred. How about a rematch? Alan Reed. And book Tennessee Terror and Beast of Boston on Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> Guarantee Phil, Houston Astrodome, Happily Granny, Strong Girl rematch. He looks exactly like he sounds. I don't know. I, I don't know. I always thought Fred Flintstone was here. If you could, if you could combine Fred Flintstone and Mo Howard, that was my dad. Oh my God! Yeah, that's my dad. Because remember when Fred would come home in a bad mood and he'd slam the door and the whole cave would shake? Yeah. That was my dad coming yeah. over from work every fucking day. 
And then like, and he was like, Mo, like he would just like reach out and slap the shit out of you for no reason. Yell at you. You couldn't do any, you know, you know, here's a beer, dad. Why'd you bring me that one? (laughs) It didn't matter. Couldn't do anything right. I wanted Stella, you son of a bitch. They didn't even invent it yet. Yeah, that stuff's nasty. Ugh. I've been drinking a lot of that. I beer. don't like it, man. I just I, I was off the wagon. Now I'm back on it. I felt really bad. I went on somebody's boat and they brought a whole bunch of it, and I just drank the stuff I brought. It's a it's a light Belgian wheat. I don't like Belgian beer. Oh, I do. It I, I it's really good with uh, mussels and clams. I I don't know what it is. I've I've had Belgian beer, and it's just it might be one of those things where you know that thing in biology class you, you chew up the paper and there's one kid in, in your year that like almost vomits from it because he's the only one that can taste it i think i'm that guy when it comes to belgian beer okay i it tastes it tastes like what i assume a windshield would taste like if you just driven through the everglades at about 100 miles an hour so this is a conversation i would think that doc would be all in as he was <laughs> he's he, he we just talk him to death i think we, we have a guys there. i'm sitting here taking it all in doc, if it ain't budweiser i don't give a shit there you go. Okay. Well, what beer do you drink, man? At Budweiser. Budweiser. Budweiser, of course. But well, Budweiser's the top. Okay. But I drink uh, Miller. Uh, the first beer I ever drank, you know, it was my dad's. He had Schmidt's Bavarian. Oh, that was, that like, was the first Schmitz beer Schmitz I ever had. Oh, did Schmidt's make a Bach? I don't know. I think they did for first like beer I ever had was a Miller, a Miller Pony. I think Schmidt's made a Bach at one point, and it was it was uh, honestly uh, probably the best thing they ever made. But I, I'll tell you what I will never have again. I was at a party one time. He had a, a quarter keg of Genesee cream ale. <laughs> well, you're not a high school girl. I had I had a, a, a plastic milk carton. It was like a, a quart or pint size bottle, but it looked exactly like a gallon bottle. It was shaped just like that. I kept filling that thing up all night long and drinking it. I woke up. Out in, the, out in the yard on the picnic table and I'm like, yo, why am I out here and why are my hands bloody? <laughs> Apparently, That's I got into a fight and don't even remember it. Oh. I was like, fuck that. I never fuck drank that. it again. Dude, man, when I was in high school, every chick would drink Jenny Cream Ale. They loved that. It didn't have any, it didn't taste like anything. <laughs> I think that was the problem because they were going down so smooth and just like holy oh, shit. Chicks, but yeah, no, they do. They, they, it, it's like, um, it's like Rolling Rock. It, it's almost got no. It, it's like that the uh, Yingling Flight. It has no flavor. It's, it's not. I, I can't drink Rolling Rock. I, I drink two or three of them. I'm pissing right away. I, 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 Rolling. First off, my my usual is I won't drink beer I can see through easily, like. This stuff, the Corona I've been drinking tonight, I don't really. Yeah, for, 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 for Corona light, it's got a lot of flavor. It does. Now, it does. I, my buddy just, just logged on. I don't know if he, yeah. if he can call in. Probably doesn't know how to do the whole thing, but he's a beer connoisseur. Well, so am I. He drinks, I mean, like, he puts up different beers every day. He's mm, got the whole nice. thing going on. Yeah, I remember, I remember doing that back in the day. We used to. I dropped my pick. Uh oh. Damn it! I don't know where it is. We'll find it later. But uh, oh, I can't remember that. Damned. Uh, there was a there was a beer, um, like, you know, like a newspaper that used to come around. I used to get all the time. And uh, I was talking about it one day with my drunken Irish uh, cousin, and he just was like, "Oh my God! I'm a knight of Columbus. You got to get me. You got to come and you got to tell me where this is from." I'm like, "We used to love that shit. It's like we used to we used to like go around back in the day when you could go to places and." You know, like, like it's hard to find Bass Ale anywhere now. I think they have it over at the, the distributor in King of Prussia. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, restaurants and stuff. Oh, okay. It, it's, it well, because be... it's all been replaced with, like, you know, IPA IPA and that IPA. And IPAs suck. I remember the first, one of the first ones I had was Racer 5. Oh, God. But, so, I got, I've recently, you know, like, in the last three years, I have burnt out on IPAs. Like, I they taste, I can't, they I can't taste, do it anymore. They taste really resiny to me. So I now don't I'm, like now it. I'm like into like the crispy kind of stuff, you know, the crisp German type stuff. Yeah. So I've been drinking big Kona, big Kona something wave. Um, every time I go out, I, I, they have it over at uh, Hooters when I go there. Oh, I've never been to Hooters. Go to Hooters. No? Well, not this one. Oh. Not since it moved. Nancy and I go there like once or twice a month. 
Yeah, I should probably start before or after we go food shopping. We for some reason usually get to go food shopping. Sometimes. Then when you go shopping, when you booby melons. I like to look at the boobies. Yeah, boobies. It, actually, no, I think but, the last time I went there, it weirded me out because I was I had a, a beer and I never got to the bottom of that glass and I was so fucking wasted because they kept slavishly coming over and refilling it for me. Oh, they said the serving wench would come over and like, oh. and I felt bad like. Just take a break. You don't fill my goddamn. But, but drink. they had the big coda there, and then I had it at uh, at Liberty Bell up at Parks Casino. Yeah, that's right. And then, ironically, or whatever the word might be, the bartender said, "I used to live in Hawaii, and I can't believe he just ordered that because I used to go and get beer from there and all that." It was just wacky, wacky, wacky story, like crazy that, that happened. See, we gotta go. We got you guys have to play a place like a microbrewery, and then Doc, I'm you're gonna have. We're gonna educate. I'm gonna educate yeah, your ass. Sorry. Let, let's let's. Right. Microbreweries. There's a there's a brewery just opened up in Norristown. Microbreweries. Really? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. People that go to microbreweries. Yes. Demographically speaking. Yuppies. Not old school fans. Mm. <sighs> Damn it. Not gonna happen, Jim. Mm. See, I would. I I used to go to microbreweries, and they were just mostly. Um, it's yuppie village. Drunks. Yeah, but now it's now yeah. idea. Yeah, it's it's funny because. You, um, the I'm last just, couple, I'm I mean, just we, calling you, the way I see it. You know, you know, we we don't play those kind of places, and we don't cater, uh, demographically speaking, as a band. I we think, don't cater to that that crowd. I think the last two microbreweries I went to with was uh, you, me, and our wives. Yes, went to that place in Phoenixville, mm-hmm. and then we went I to um, the, the Sly Fox. And it's funny, it was like, okay. Sly Fox is okay. It was okay, but okay. Be- because of the IPA nonsense, like it's just. Like I hate going and like I I'm go over, over it. I go into our local beer store, which I won't name because I don't want to. The, the guy's great. The beer store we have is great. I'll name it. You can name it, but I'm going to bitch about it, and I don't. I don't want to get in trouble with the guy because he's a good guy. He is a great guy. But he had Iron Maiden beer. He had the I know, Trooper yeah, beer. But it just they bought and that beer was really good. There's there's too much thought? too many IPAs. I find and and ask ask your friend. It, maybe you can hear me, and if you can. I am personally offended if you stock Brooklyn brewery stuff He's and gone. you don't you don't god damn it and you don't have Brooklyn Brown. That pisses me off. I used to, dude, I used to get Brooklyn Brown when I was living uh in East Falls. That's awesome. It is. It is very good. Yeah. Uh, there was another beer I used to get when uh a German beer I used to get when I lived. Spaten. I can't remember. It was green and white label. It was very mm. good. The, the, there was a distributor down in East Falls in Philly. I lived on Bowman Street, uh, about two blocks in. And at the bottom of our street was this amazing brewery. Of, I'm sorry, you know, distributor, which was across from a former brewery, which closed down during Prohibition. I don't think it ever opened up again. It was from the 1800s. Oh, oh my God. I used to love going down there and getting beer every week, and it was such a cool thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Doc. I'm telling you, next time you go to a gig, I'm gonna, we're just gonna go out to the, to the, to the parking lot, and we're gonna have a tasting session. Don't talk about that on the camp, because if they find you, they, they won't find me. Okay. I'm like the wind. You'll do it at that club called Lava Bluzz. Yeah, that place. Yeah, we won't talk about it on the air. We'll talk about it off set. We were doing this, but uh. And then there were Jello shots. Oh yeah, that's Halloween. You got the injectors. But no, that's that's why I didn't drink beer. I told you, I didn't drink beer for a long time because I didn't like it. Because all we ever had was um, my dad mostly drank Schmitz and Bud, and I didn't like either one of them. My mom made Jello shots recently. Oh, I don't know. my mom's seventy nine years old. She's making Jello shots. What, for did she was she wasted? I, well, I didn't talk to her after bumbling the fact, around the house half but naked. She made them. Wow. Well, she probably bumbles around the house half naked anyway. What is that? Yeah, she's seventy nine. She can do whatever the hell she wants. People come to our house now, like the neighbors come over. Honey, we make them for Halloween. Every day, Saturday, where I am. That's where I'm trying to get to. Yeah, and I'm like, oh. what's well, like? Um, I'm jealous. What, uh, one of our friends, uh, they live across the street from us, up the the road here from you. She just retired, and uh, her husband posted a picture like retirement life. She was passed out on a recliner asleep. There it is. It was like on a like a Tuesday, and I'm but like, see, here's uh, here's the. Here's the bloody fist coming at your face when you're in retirement and every day is Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know what's right around the corner? What, death? Yes. Nah. Bullshit. I got a way around that. I got him working on that. Like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, we're all good. I'm good. Work I'm all good. those years I have slaving a away for some other asshole. I have a plan. Who the fuck? It just that's not right. That or the boat that crashed up on Wildwood. Is that what that was? Yeah, boat ran up on North Wildwood Beach. Why would today. you do that? Because he wasn't paying attention. He was probably getting blown down in the I cabin. Know. Well, or you know, that's a good excuse if you're getting blown. Yeah, not when you just wreck an $80,000 boat. I mean, it, I don't know. Maybe $127,000 boats. Kind of, looks like a kind of nice boat. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, we're going to do a tasting, Doc. All right. Real good. Oh, yeah. Then you'd be like me. You go to the beer store and you got to spend like $60 for a case of beer <laughs> once a. Uh, twice a year. <laughs> well, we're at ten. What do you want to do? It, it's it doesn't matter really. I'm tempted to call just to find out what the hell's going on outside. Well, that's your call, man. I think we're gonna call it at ten. Okay. Well, it's ten oh five. Well, that's fine. I understand that. I just wanted to cue this music because I like it. Oh, Sc- Scorpions. It's actually my favorite Scorpion song. Best live band in terms of performance They're I've ever good. seen. Precision. Laser perfect. I've never seen a band as perfect as them. They longest, are absolutely fucking perfect. Longest my ears have ever rung after a concert. These guys, three days. So. I can't I've only about. seen them once and that was at the Monster Rock and uh, they like blew everybody away. They were amazing yeah. at that show. Yeah, they are just crazy. Fucking perfect. Perfect. Love them, Love them to death. The only right. thing that sucked about them, I, I, I'm not trying to, no disrespect, but I, I I think Klaus Minor was not the greatest singer in the world. Yeah, but he's fun. He Every was. time I don't know what that, you know, it's like. But just imagine the Scorpions with like Brian James Dio or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, just the fact you can go to a concert and hear God, you don't know what the fuck you just said. Well, that was. Yeah, no, yeah, but no, he does that. I mean, he just like, <laughs> okay, you know, whatever, dude. <laughs> I give him credit. He's saying a language they don't even understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure I, I work with somebody who's a German language speaker and speaks perfect English, and I, I, I try to tell her like, you don't have an accent that I can detect. I think it's really good. Like, it's very mild. I have an accent. I'm like, okay. What do you mean by that? Like, she doesn't though. She's really Come good. this way. We go to the chamber. The chamber. You'll go downstairs. Ugh. All right. Let's wrap this up. I got to go find out what the fuck's happening in front of my house. Since uh, the person who texted me doesn't text me very often. So something fucked up's going on. I told you to go check. No. It's probably my kid doing it. But, um,. We'll be back at 8.30 again next week. Uh, I am on that late-ass shift again. See, now, now, if you would have had a cell phone, you could have checked and you could have did a live report right there. I do have a cell phone. That's how she, she texted me. Well, see, you should have downloaded the app, the got problem. on it, and did a live report. Uh, I well. have the app. I didn't want to do just did it. Yeah, she, she didn't want to tell me. I don't know what it was. It's like It was the neighbor's chimpanzee. Probably. Yeah, probably ate somebody's face again. All right, so 8.30 next week. Um, 8.30. 8.30. 8.30. 8.30. on earlier if we're ready. If you're ready. If we're ready. I, I'm not usually. I no, we're coming later. Yeah, I'm, I'll be, I'm, I will shut down at 8, and I will run down here. If only if you I tried away. to get partially set up. Yeah, you did, yeah. did good. You did, yeah, I, I, was I feel bad. I feel like a lazy shit, man. I was on the phone. I was drinking. I was talking with people uh, about things. I was like, you know. I'm just sitting around working like a music. sucker. Well, oh, imagine that. I was talking about music. Yeah, I can't. Talking about gigs, talking about gear. Lies. Lies. Gears. Why do you have to lie? It's always about gear. Oh. I like gears. You know what gear acquisition syndrome is? Yes. Yeah. It's, what, it's, it's this. this room. Yeah. yeah. Christ. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh. Dude, I, I'm, these are going for... What the... the shit's going two, crazy $3. Here. Yeah. I, I, I don't even understand what's going on. Yeah, it's the market it's is out of control. Man. Out of control. It's the way it happens. What happens when you put the fucking Democrats in charge, right? Guitar is off the scale. <laughs> fucking Democrats. I don't even care about that shit. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. All right, Doc. Thank you as always. Yeah. 
Sorry, Thank we just nurse. babbled over you. We'll talk beer a little more. Yeah. All right. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll talk about like yeah. drugs and stuff next time. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird sex practices. I don't know. But we tried that once. Didn't go over well. People got weirded out. Mostly you guys. Mostly me. Yeah. That's weird. It's bizarre that you're uncool like that. Stop looking at guitar porn. Jesus Christ. All right. We're out. Uh, Doc, again, thank you for uh, hanging out. Yep. And uh, I'm telling you, put some trialine across the street. That'll stop that shit real fast. Oh, Stephanie Sky yeah. just logged on. Oh, man. Damn it. Yeah. What happened? You, you got it. It's it's 8, 830. It's it's easy. Uh, well, next week. Jim's next a week. pumpkin. I'm not a pumpkin. I'm just don't know what's going on. He's just curious. Actually, we're going to get kicked off in 15, not less than 15 minutes anyway. So, okay. We went, we went long. We're just going to get booted. It's soon. fine. So, uh, look at you on Facebook gesticulating and all sad. Oh, it's depressing. I didn't make any sad faces. I said you gesticulated. What? My dick is in my pants. See, this is what happens. I'll tell you, no, I know it is your bed, Steph. We were waiting for you. Yeah, we did. He told me. That you can listen to the podcast on he, Podbean. He cried like a baby half an hour ago. It was kind of embarrassing. Just the P word. Yeah. The P word. Not pussy. Not prick. Wow. Just P. Wow. Going there, huh? I went there. I circled it. I squatted upon it. Mm-hmm. I don't did it. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Gotcha. You cunt. E. Eh, in Australia, nobody care. Nope. All right. We'll call it here uh, eight thirty next week. Doc, yeah, we'll cut. Then, and uh, yeah, we'll end it on that. You want to say? Oh, rides here. Yeah. I've got so we got to go. Back. Uber's here. <laughs> Cup of tea. Don't have to kill anybody, Doc. Or if you do, you know, video it so we can see. Yeah, that would be that would be awesome. That'd be cool. We won't. If I can't do that. It goes in my luck that it'll get hacked and then. There'll be evidence against me. No, no, no. We got ways around it. Don't worry about it. I can hook All right. Up. Cool, cool. We've got connections with the people that made the fake yeah. moon landing video. I know a lot. I know a lot of hackers. Yeah, thank you. And hey, hey, happy anniversary to the moon landing that dumbasses think didn't happen. It's up. Oh, all right. I'm going to go before I get crazy. All right. Thank Peace you. Peace out. Good night. Sorry if I stumbled. Gotcha. All right. Good night. Good night.